Peter Gaynor is the acting head of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. He joins me now from FEMA's headquarters. Uh, Peter, good morning. How is FEMA preparing for morning, Dorian? Uh, well, we're, uh, we're assessing uh, what happened uh, yesterday in U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico this morning as soon as the light clears, making sure that uh, we assess all those damage. Uh, and with that, we shift our focus to the east coast of Florida uh, and make sure that uh, Florida residents, uh, South Georgia residents are prepared uh, for the second landfall of uh, Dorian. Obviously, South Florida is keeping a weather eye out. What do you want to remind people who may be in the direct path of the storm? What do they need to do? Uh, so there's a lot of uncertainty in this storm where it will actually make landfall. So if you look on the current forecast of the National Hurricane uh, Center forecast, uh, it could fall anywhere from the, the Keys uh, into Jacksonville, north to Jacksonville, and even into uh, to Georgia. So uh, the cone of uncertainty is wide, and every uh, Florida resident needs to make preparations now uh, because until the forecast becomes more precise, uh, it can land anywhere in that uh, cone of uncertainty. We've learned that the Trump administration is going to divert FEMA funds to migrant detention and border enforcement. How is this going to impact your ability to respond to an emergency like this one? Uh, great question. Uh, you know, this, uh, this business we are in here at FEMA is, uh, is all about risk. We assess risk every day. And when it comes to the uh, reprogramming of uh, dollars from our disaster relief fund, uh, which today has about $27 billion in it. Uh, the $155 million is really less than 1% of that. Uh, there is minimal risk uh, to moving that to the emergency on the southwest border. Uh, all the components of DHS have a stake in making sure that DHS is successful in dealing with this emergency. Uh, we, we look at this as a minor impact. It doesn't ha hamper our ability to deal with the 2017-18 disaster seasons, and it doesn't impact our ability to deal with the current season that we're in here in 2019. But, but in follow-up, will less funds for FEMA impact recovery from this hurricane if it ends up being a three that slams into the coast? And, and, and what is that? I, I know you said it doesn't really matter, but money matters in government. What's this going to mean for the rest of the season? Well, again, I think uh, you know, we have $27 billion in our disaster relief fund, uh, plenty of money for the two past uh, catastrophic seasons, and, uh, and, and plenty of money in there for, for this season. Should we have, uh, uh, whether it's one major uh, hurricane or two or three, uh, we have plenty of funds in there uh, right now to deal with anything that's ahead of us. What do you tell people at FEMA who are staging, of course, on the ground over there? I mean, is there anything noticeable that, uh, that is not happening because of that lack of funds? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, you know, right now uh, we're assessing with the damage on Puerto Rico. Uh, we're going to deploy uh, some of our key assets, uh, assets like communications uh, equipment, uh, back to CONUS. Uh, that will happen today. Uh, we've been moving uh, our assets into in and near Florida uh, for the past couple days. Uh, so we have no shortfalls, and really it's about making people aware of the threat uh, in Florida when it comes to Dorian and taking those preparations today. Peter Gaynor, it's going to be a busy weekend for you. Thank you very much for joining us. It will. Thank you very much.